Okay, so hi guys, it's Miss Lollipop and welcome back to another video from me or welcome to my channel if you are new. So in today's video, we are back with another 100 baby challenge. Now, I did try to record this exact same episode about five days, four days roughly ago. And uh, I was having an issue with a piece of CC in my game. Um, and obviously you guys know, I currently have 80 gigabytes worth of CC in my game. There was an issue with a piece of CC in my game where my adult Sims couldn't interact with my toddlers. I do not understand why it was happening my adult sims just couldn't interact with any of their toddlers it was just a complete and utter mess so uh luckily now i went ahead and done like the 50 50 method and worked out what piece of cc it was and it was literally one piece of cc and it was thalia's skirt that she was wearing and that piece of cc was literally stopping her from interacting talking to communicating with toddlers at all which i thought was the weirdest thing ever but either way i've removed the piece of cc now so we are safe to record because last time i tried to record it i got halfway through and was like why can't I bathe my kid? Why can't I point to show my kid? Why can't I talk to my child? So uh, let's go ahead and jump right in to the video. We can go ahead and see our baby Thalia. Go ahead and uh, work on getting that grind on because I do want to go ahead and get us moved as quickly as possible. We're struggling in Brindleton Bay because it rains every single day and thunders and lightning. Honestly, the rain would be fine if it didn't thunder and lightning and every single time she stepped outside, she gets electrocuted. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump right in, get on our grind, get our graft on and try and get out of Brindleton Bay because honestly this just ain't it. <laughs> okay so we are back in game and poor little Thalia is now walking around with no skirt on. So uh, let me go ahead and um, grab Thalia and give her a little makeover actually because you know what we haven't seen Thalia with a makeover in so long. I feel like I really like neglect out on like my founders of the 100 baby challenge um, so I think she needs like a little bit of you know a little bit of work. Honestly she's looking gorgeous. Honestly when I'm doing this I'm realizing how sick Sickeningly stunning Thalia is like what the actual hell she's like <laughs> she's one of the cutest sims I've made I swear to god now Thalia is a mum she likes to be comfy obviously but then also she has this very specific style where she looks great in everything so I kind of want to like encompass that with you know with what she's wearing because honestly she looks like she looks crazy good in everything so it's very difficult to find something to put on her oh that's really cute i like this top on her actually i'm wondering what color blue to go for and then um i might actually give her a nice little chain as well maybe we just get rid of the necklace and we leave it like that i think that works she's got a little blue nails on oh my god i love her so much and the cute little comfy shoes i love that i feel like i don't give her enough credit i feel like she might be one of my most gorgeous sims what do you guys think I think she probably is one of my most stunning sims. And look at that bod. Look at that bod. Like, oh, I kind of like that on her. Yeah, let's go for that as well. What do we got? Yep, I like that outfit too. Oh, maybe we could change hair. I've got some new hairs installed. Um, I've got some new hairs by the same creator. She makes some really, really good hairs. These are all by Simplicity. And honestly, Simplicity's hair, hairs are just incredible. And I was thinking about giving her some like more like open and bushy hair. So uh, we've got Thalia. Little makeover, nothing too crazy. But what do you guys think? Let me know. I think she's looking real cute. Wait, I just saw it. Wait, this dress. This dress. Uh, should we do it party well? Yeah, let's just stick another party wear. Oh, look at this one. Oh my God, queen. Yes, I love this. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I'm getting so excited. Sorry, I'm getting so hyped about this just because, okay, it's an issue. Okay, she looks great in everything. What are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to dress her up in when she looks like stunning in absolutely everything? Oh my God, I get so excited when I see her. Okay, this is gonna be, this is gonna be fun. Right, okay, let's go in. Let's, uh, let's have some children. Wait, is she pregnant? Isn't she supposed to be pregnant right now? Okay, right. So since the last episode, you guys would remember that, um, yeah, I actually, I, I didn't even address the elephant in the room. I killed our son. Okay, I'm just going to come right out and say it. I don't remember what his name was. James, was it? James, I feel so sorry. He was my second born son. Actually, he was the, the first lot of twins I ever had and I killed him off. Um, that's just embarrassing. I'm sorry to say, but I, I did, I did kill him. I did. Apparently, you guys said that you think he got really angry, but but you definitely think it was a glitch because at one point Thalia was woohooing with her mans in the bed. Actually, is she pregnant? She is pregnant. It's because she's in her first trimester. She's hardly showing. She's in her first trimester and she's about to become in her second, tri second trimester. Where though? Where are you hiding it? Where's the baby? Is the baby in that thick ass? Okay, whatever. 
Anyways, um, you guys were looking in the background and James was here and he walked up the stairs and then all of a sudden he just blipped out of like into infinity and turned into an urn. You guys said that you think it was a glitch, um, but you'd think he was gonna die, but you think that the way he died was a glitch, like there was no Grim Reaper. Um, even though I might have the Mortem mod installed, that normally when they die, they still do the dying animation and then you've got to have like a medical examiner turn up and like review, review the body and stuff. And none of that happened. He just turned into an urn. So you guys said that you think it was a glitch, but he probably would have died anyway. So it was my fault. I am sorry, but he does count towards the challenge because he aged up as a young adult. So I hate to say it, but I kind of count that as a win. <laughs> what is a win? Okay, as a win as you could ever get it, considering that I, I, I didn't look after him well. So I've, I've stated in my brain from this moment onwards, I will concentrate on my children more. I say is like, oh, look at my children. Look, I actually look at my children. <laughs> I say this is my children like dying. Okay, well, kids are like not having a good time. So let's, I tell you what, let me have them go watch a movie together. All right, Luciana and um, Luciana and uh, Zelina, you guys go downstairs and uh, watch some TV. Go and chill and do your thing. Um, did you wash the child? Like, wh wh why are you picking her up? Just leave her to go to sleep. Like, just let her sleep. Let her sleep. Did you wash the other child? No, she didn't. She she didn't even she didn't even bother washing him. Every single you should have seen me. I was freaking out in the episode that you guys didn't see when I was trying to record. I was freaking out because none of my kid like I couldn't look after any of my kids. Um, Dahlia couldn't communicate with any toddlers. She can communicate with children, adults, everything, but she couldn't communicate with anybody else. And it was honestly the weirdest thing ever. Ada wants to know if I want to go over his house and hang out. No, not really. Actually, I'm good. Oh, parenting skill is nearly up to level 10 as well. See, that's going to be really useful for the ultra efficient baby care or whatever it is. Um, but let me come check on the kids. So their movie has finished. Um, so they need to do their homework before tomorrow. So if you remember, Zelina is like a little artistic prodigy. So I'm going to have her go and work on uh, writing a book report. And then Luciana, you are a little um, motor in like a little motor girl who just wants to like you know bing bing bam do everything so i'm gonna have her go and fill out an activity chart to keep her brain busy there you go so for the last few episodes they've been going upstairs to use the sink upstairs it's kind of been killing me so i'm gonna fix it right this second <laughs> i really want to give this house a proper makeover but then also i would just rather pick it up and move it into a new lot because i am sick and tired of this lot just constantly it's now it's snowing like, what is even going on? Why is it snowing? Actually, uh, okay, heating is on, so nobody should be freezing right now. We've actually got quite a lot of stuff that we could sell. What's this? What are, what are all of these things that she's got in inventory? <laughs> Where did these come from? What the hell? Where did all of these come from? We've got loads of extra food that she hasn't done anything with. Can these be sold? No, this can be sold though. We'll do that. This can go in the bin. Um, let me just pop that in the bin. Are these bills? discard them yeah okay leaf frog get that sold we've got some beeswax yep sure we'll sell that too vanilla beans have we got vanilla beans already planted yes we have okay put the vanilla beans up there and also we can now get rid of my uh hoover because i don't need it anymore because i turned that pack off because it's actually useless so i can just keep that off right okay nice so i either do a little bit of selling today which i think i can actually do um because i've got loads of food that i could use so if i come in here oh so i realized what this lemonade stand was guys i thought this was an actual lemonade stand that kids could sell on turns out kids can actually sell on this one like if i have them come over oh no they can't wait hold on so this one over here kid okay I, I i thought it was one that kids could use i thought this one they could use but they can't so it turns out this lemonade stand i can actually have kids sell with that is such a good idea i can get the kids involved I can have them sell stuff while Farley is out in the- Oh my god. Slave labor of these children. Yes, I love it. Um, okay, Zelina, she's finished doing her homework. It is 8 o'clock, but to be honest, we could get her asleep right now because she's feeling really tired. So I'm going to go have her go get to bed. Luciana, she should be good. Once she's grabbed some food, I'm going to have her come up up uh, this and then also put herself to bed as well. And then Nalia, um, I don't want any more children being taken away from me. So I'm just going to quickly- <laughs> I'm just gonna quickly go upstairs with some food and have a go and grab some. There we go. Come and grab a serving of this, honey, and then you can go back to sleep. John, do you fancy something? Oh my god, look how good things are. Half-eaten cakes. Who doesn't want a half-eaten cake? Seriously. 
Who doesn't want an half eaten cake? I'd love one. Okay, this guy? Oh, the set. <laughs> the yard sale stopped just as he turned up. Okay, let me restart it. Why is this kid not listening? Listen to me, child. I said go to sleep. Your mother shouldn't need to put you to bed every time. You can't get you can't get in that bed. Okay, go to sleep in the pink one then. Cool. Okay, nice. Right. He's going to sleep. We're good, Thalia. I'm back. I'm back, honey. Oh, she's trying to get this guy with the beard. Come on. At this point, I'm gonna have a go until like 12 o'clock or something. And if nobody buys anything, then I'm gonna go out and do some gardening before we go to bed. Okay, it's 12 o'clock. If you don't buy something. Oh, he bought something! He bought something! Okay, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give this guy a chance to buy something. And if he doesn't, then I'm gonna end the yard sale. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, I am. Um, is it just me who's being ridiculous here? There was weeds all over these plants earlier. Does, does somebody come round and weed my plants? Does somebody come round and weed all my plants? Because honestly, I need to hire them or pay them or something. Because <laughs> I highly appreciate that. Um, are any of the children getting hungry? Oh, you're getting a little hungry. See, the issue is children in my game, like specifically toddlers, they never ever finish their food. And I just don't even understand why. Like, they get halfway through their food and then just to stop to, like, decide to stop eating. I'm gonna see if I can find a mod where it makes the children eat their food. Uh, or, like, actually finish their food, you know? It might help a little. Oh, okay. Gardening's very lucrative. Yes. What are you coming down here for? Are you coming down here to eat? Oh, she's gonna need a bath anyways. Poor Thalia. Never even gonna get a bed. And is now getting attacked by bees. What is this? What is this, you poor thing? Right, once you've done a little bit of watering, uh, how are the bees doing? Oh, they're enraged. Okay, let's apply some mite treatment and try to bond with them. I want some good quality honey, guys. Please stop attacking me. <laughs> Please stop attacking me. Just pour some of that in there. Yeah, I'm sure they'll be I'm sure they'll be great after that. Right, let me go and collect. Actually, let's just straight up sell this honey because this, this is probably not any good honey. And then I'm going to come bond with them. What's their relationship? It's midway. Our relationship's midway. That's not even bad. Why are you so angry? Why are you all so horrible? I don't understand. Oh, another thing that needs evolving. Do any of these need evolving? Let me just like stare at them for a little while. <laughs> okay, that one's good. Um, okay, I think we're done bonding with the bees for today. They're still a little, yeah, they're a little irritated. They're a little irritated. No, I'm gonna leave them alone because they're a little irritated. So it's probably just our best bet to call it quits with them. Oh, look at little baby Nalia just sitting here like, Mom, I need a bath. <laughs> Has she got the swarm in her inventory? Yes, yeah, she can. So we can send it to fetch gift, pollinate our nearby plants, cheer up or cheer up self. Maybe I'll have to try and cheer her up because she's currently suffering from some back pain. Obviously, her child died the other day. So that's kind of like, you know, a big impact on your life. Right, okay, kids, let me just make sure everybody's ready for school. Grab some leftovers. I think Corey's putting himself up to bed. Okay, Luciana's grabbing some food. Zelina is already good on food. And they should have already done their homework. Yes, they have. Okay, skills, how are we looking? Creativity level five, and you have got your most skills level four. So as soon as the kids are done uh, with school and they come back with A's, we can get them aged up into teenagers. So they're currently at C grade, so we're not close just yet. We're not, we're not too close, but it's okay. I'm trying my hardest here, okay? So in the last episode, all of you guys were telling me to try and get with Storm Ventura. So he's going to be the next guy that I'm going to go for. So I'm going to try and like schmooze him up and then we'll go from there, I think. Okay, right. I'm going to try and uh, sort out uh, Thalia's sleeping schedule by trying to wake her up like just a little bit earlier. Um, she is looking huge, by the way. I'm expecting triplets in here, Thalia. Okay, I'm expecting three adorable little babies. You walked in on me, honey, Kiyoshi. You walked in on me, okay? Okay, kids are back. They both come back with bees. Okay, so we've only got one more, one more level to go. They're both uh, kind of bored. So I'm going to have them go watch a movie together. Let's go watch um, The Adventures of Spaceship Simulation. <gasps> Fun. And they both want to do their homework, right? Oh, you good little eggs. Okay, they both want to do their homework. It's almost like they knew. Oh, was it really that boring? Emphasis on the sleeper. Okay, <laughs> well, sorry. Right, kiddos, why don't you go and get your homework done so you're better off at school tomorrow? So you go and work on your motor skill and then you can work on your creativity skill. There you go. Why has she got a hurt sentiment? Feeling bitterness about somebody. It's not your sister, is it? Yeah, Zelina has a deep-seated grudge against Luciana. It might... It's hard to forget or forgive the past. What did she do? She's like your twin sister. I don't really know what she could have done. And now you're insulting her? Really? Guys, they actually have a really bad relationship. 
I didn't realize that both of these girls, like I get that they're opposites and everything, but I didn't realize that that was going to be so difficult. Right, okay, both kiddos are going to need a bath in a second as well. So let's make sure that we do that before we go out in a garden or sell anything or anything like that. Oh my god. Hey, I brought a special gift to you. Hi, Amara. Um, Listen, I know I didn't answer your call earlier, but it's because I'm a really busy mother. You see me. What are you doing in the bath? What are you doing? You don't, you don't even smell. Your hygiene's fine. Get out. I'm trying to... Oh my god. What are you doing ruining this for me, Z Zelina? You're ruining it for me. Okay, Corey's now done. Are you going to hurry up and get off that toilet? Yeah, okay, right. She's off the potty. Now I'm going to quickly potty train Corey. No, he went in his nappy. He went in his nappy. God damn it. Oh boy. You're making me annoyed. Right, okay. So now that we're done for tonight, um, I think we're going to come out here and just quickly do a little bit of tending to the garden. I'm going to come and harvest everything out here. And then what I'm going to do is I'll storm if he wants to go out for some drinks or something obviously Thalia can only drink water but i'm gonna ask if he wants to go out for drinks and hoping that he will fancy it um and then we can try and get to know him a little bit and then as soon as Thalia is finished with a pregnancy as soon as she's finished with her pregnancy we should be good to hop straight on with storm and get her pregnant with him again which would be good because we want to we want to be like really efficient with this because i've got aging turned on for pre you know for pregnancies so she's actually going to be an adult in 10 days so we're, we're we haven't got that much longer as soon as she hits an elder we can't have any more children which when you think about it that's kind of crazy in this challenge right okay nice everything is sold good 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 right let me oh it's 12 o'clock he's gonna say he's sleeping isn't he right well tomorrow tomorrow i'm gonna ask him out instead i swear tomorrow i will ask him out right kiddos who's this oh james he's back from the dead <laughs> okay let me just do something really quick then i don't want this to keep happening and for him to like mess anything up i know it sounds really horrible but i am just gonna go release the spirit to the netherworld because i don't want my son just you know chilling around and everything so i'm gonna go and um release him into the netherworld he's gonna go back in his urn and he is gonna go back to you know not existing that's the way that we like it right okay kiddos uh how are our skills looking so we're on level three movement level three communication we need thinking up so go and do a little bit more shape stacking and nailia ugh, you're not doing anywhere near as well your brother are you why don't you go and hug and can we babble? Yep. Okay, let's work on communication now as well. Here we go. And then you know what? I'm going to have Thalia go and give herself an early night and on the hopes. It's not even... I'm going to have her go give herself an early night. It's one o'clock in the morning. I'm going to have her go and try and get as early night as possible. You know, we can we can try at this point. We can really try. Okay, you just come over here and babble, babble, babble. Nice. Level three. Oh, that's so quick. You guys are right. Oh, you know what? I need another set of... I need another set of these. Uh, what's our imagination skill like? Oh, that's already on level three. So I've just got um, thinking to go. You know what I'm going to quickly do? I'm going to buy another set of nesting blocks. I'm just going to put them right here. Um, I did just realize earlier that these beds on the left, they don't work. So I'm just going to budge them over a little bit and see if that will fix it. Hmm. Okay, right. While she's got her a tablet on her, I'll have her go and play Sim Shape on the tablet to try and get thinking up to level two, and then she can play with the the blocks instead. No, not. There's no time for midnight snacks or two a.m. snacks. Get back up there and get back in bed. You got school tomorrow. Damn right. Damn right. Corey, how you doing, honey? How you doing? What's your skill like? Three. That's really good. Imagination needs to go up a little bit though. Oh, you know what? He's so tired. I'm just gonna send him to bed. It's definitely the best option. I'm going to go send him to bed. Let him go do his thing. Wow. Okay. Everybody slept right through until the next day. Honestly, I am so impressed with how organized our family is today. Normally, it's not like this. You guys know it's an absolute fiesta. You guys know what it's like. Don't wake your mom up. Is it because she's scared? Let your mother sleep. God damn it. It's 8 a.m. Let her sleep. Wait, why does she, why does she feel sad? Oh. <gasps> In loving memory, a cherry sim recently passed on. As you can see, officially, he did die by anger. It says he is deceased by anger, which is really sad. Obviously, his dad, Vincent, is probably really upset. And I knew Amara was really upset. But yeah, he is definitely... He is definitely... Uh, he's definitely gone. So, Valon Stowen. I'm going to need to change the kiddo's name so that they have their dad's names in the end as well. Uh, and I need to do the same to Luciana and uh, okay so there okay you know what let me just sort out all the names right now so the last is gonna be 
Conway. So it's going to be Edwards Conway. Mm. Right, Zelina's off to school. While she's off to school today, I'm going to have her go and listen to the teacher again because I need these kiddos to get up to A grades so I can age them up into teenagers. And then as soon as they've done that, because they've already got their skill up to level four, we are good there. Um, the same with you, listen to the teacher, and then we can chill for a little while with Thalia today um, and just do our own thing, which is going to be nice. Uh, during free time, Luciana drew an inappropriate picture of artwork and screwed it. Uh, showed it to a classmate. It caused a lot of giggling and disruption into the school day. Um, I feel like she would say take the drawing and punish her. Honestly, I feel like Thalia is quite a strict mum. Do you guys agree? What do you What do you guys think about Thalia? I feel like she would be quite a strict mum. She'd want to make sure that all of her kids are like, you know, not causing ruckus and embarrassing her and her family and her family name, you know? Right, Thalia, let me see if I can try and convince Storm to come out on another date with us. Last night he said he was sleeping, so I wasn't really happy about us calling him at like 12 o'clock at night, but you know. So, we, we are gonna go out. I'm gonna go to a different area, because normally I always go, I always stay within British Bay, so I really wanna try going somewhere different. Oh, he turned up and he's not even wearing any clothes. It's almost like he knows. <laughs> Okay, Storm, um, let's come and oh, share the big news. Okay, let's not just hit him straight up with that. Come in here and ask him about his day. And then I'm going to ask him about his career and, you know, just try and get to know him a little bit because we haven't properly spoken to him at all yet. So let's just let's just try it with him. I think it's because his CC's run out. Yeah, it is. You know what? Let me just um, let me go in with him in Creative Sim and I'm going to give him some clothes because I can't leave the poor boy with not like with no clothes. Come on. I feel like oh that suits him. What do you guys think? I feel like something like this really suits him. I kind of feel like he's a little emo. I, do you guys get the same idea as about Storm that I do? I kind of get the idea. So, so like something like that is kind of cool too. And then I think I'm gonna pierce him out, guys. What do you think? You guys, I know, honestly, every single time I say this, you guys are like, yes, <laughs> give them piercing. So every single time I do it, you guys just are all on board. Should I give him a little backwards hat? Oh my god, hot, right? <laughs> so, yeah, I love that. Oh, I love that on him. Okay. What do you guys think of Storm? Actually, okay, a little bit more, a little bit more. Hold on. I swear I'll be done with him in a second. I think um, he could do with a little bit of um, contour because honestly, his, like, his cheeks are just gorgeous. And then... In this section down here, I've got a little overlay to give him a little bit of blushies as well. There we go. Okay, I think I'm done. Okay, let me grab him. Um, I'm gonna go and ask him to hang out a second just in case he thinks he can leave because no leaving today, okay? Um, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to order us a water because you know, girl's like, girl's like six months pregnant, you know? Actually, she's more than six months pregnant. She's nine months pregnant. She's like eight and a eight and a very big bit eight pregnant. So <laughs> I'm gonna come over here and ask for some uh, ask for some water. Please help yourself to some water. I bought us storm. Well, she's feeling really sad. If you guys remember the last time we tried to get a know to know a guy, and we was also feeling sad on that day, it didn't go well. Let me just let me just tell you right now. So she's like, oh my god, can you believe that I'm pregnant, honey? Look at you. Look at you. Of course we know you're pregnant. I'm gonna try and flatter him. Their their relationship's actually not going up too bad. What inf what first impression does she have on him? She doesn't have a first impression on him. Okay. Well, that's okay. That's fine. Um, oh, she can tell him that she hates him. Don't go in with that. Is he, I'm feeling very confident now. Right, let me just try going in with a with a, just a small flirt. And then I'm gonna try going in with a bold pickup line because she feels really confident herself and he feels confident. So surely a bold pickup line is gonna work. Here we go. Come on. Come out with a bold pickup line. <gasps> he liked it. Yes. Good, good, good. He's like, oh yeah, I look, I look good. Okay. Bump up his ego a little. Bump up his ego. It's working. Keep his ego bumped. Keep his ego bumped. He wants a bit of Thalia, huh? He's like, oh yeah, she looks good. Right. Let me just make sure he has my number too. You know, you can call me anytime. Anytime. So the conversation, Thalia got the impression that Storm finds her quite attractive. Who wouldn't? The girl is hot. I mean, even if she is nine months pregnant, you know? Okay, we've got a romance bar. Let me go and uh, straight up kiss his neck as well. They love a good kiss of neck. 
Uh, both of the girls come back with a B today, but obviously they literally just got a B yesterday, so it's it's kind of a lot to expect them to come back with an A today. I'm gonna compliment his appearance a little bit and then actually confess my attraction with him. And then I wanna get to the position where I could just basically invite him over just to Wahoo with him. And then that way, as soon as she is finished having these babies, I can just straight up call Storm and have her um have her woohoo with him and get pregnant straight away. Um, oh, you guys told me about this thing in my streams that I never, never, ever listened to you guys. You guys told me to always take photos with the guys that I'm interested in because it gets their friendship up. And I was like, it's probably going to get their friendship up like a little bit, but I'm going to have to take so many photos that like, I'm just going to have to constantly keep taking photos for it to work. You guys said, nay, nay, it actually has the, it actually has their friendship go up like by a lot. So I, I'm gonna show you, ready? Look at their look at their friendship. It's just like just below like halfway, what like just over a quarter of the way through. I'm gonna have them go take five photos together, which honestly she looks a little crazy. Now <laughs> look at her friendship with him. Look, they're best friends. They're literally best friends. Like that's not that's not even fair. That's not even fair. I can't believe I didn't use this before. I'm on. I honestly feel bad that I didn't listen to you guys earlier. I didn't believe any of you. I did not believe that I should have done this. Well, we definitely have enough romance where we could just invite him over at any point. So I'm going to go ahead and call it quits here and have Dahlia go home because I'm pretty sure these babies are going to be popping out anytime soon and I am mentally prepared. Did you hear this woman just like breaking out ear holes? Please stop. <laughs> Please stop. Okay, right, I'm gonna have Dahlia go back home. Uh, we're gonna go take care of the kiddos. Gonna go, hopefully get the, the get the uh, toddlers ready to age up soon. Um, they should be ready soon. And then uh, we should be seeing some babies coming along soon. I'm hoping it's gonna be triplets. Like I'm praying, I'm praying, I'm praying, I'm praying. So far, we've only had um, three sets of twins. Is it? We had. A James and Amara, then we had Zelina and Luciana, then we've also had Corey and Nalia. So I'm actually really surprised that I remembered everybody's names. Very proud of myself there. We've got a little while to go before we complete this 100 baby challenge, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> okay, babies, how are you doing? Everybody's doing good. Okay, nice. Right, let's uh let's look at skills. So movement skill is not high enough, nor is thinking. But your thinking isn't high enough to work on it yourself either. So um, come and play sim shape for a little while and then Corey, what are you looking at? Thinking level three Imagination is the last thing to go up. So I'm gonna have him go and play with the toy um, And get his imagination skill up. So both of those kiddos are good uh, These guys can come and use the toilet Come and use the toilet and then uh, do your homework now if they do well enough at school tomorrow They might end up coming back with an A which means we can get them aged up probably in the next episode at this point or tomorrow Basically, so that'll be really really good for us so I'm gonna have her go fill out the activity chart and then her sister um, She's getting a little tired. So before she gets too tired I'll have a go and work on her uh, homework as well I don't know how I didn't know that the girls disliked each other for this long and like have been arguing it proves to show how oblivious I have been to these kids for so long and not concentrating on this like challenge enough of the goals that <laughs> Or I've been concentrating probably so much on the challenge that I just completely forgot that you know I'm supposed to be taking care of these children oh, Valon's like hey, I heard you become friends with storm if you remember The reason that we got with Valon is because storm was like his neighbor I'm pretty sure like they live with each other at one point So it's actually kind of funny that he's like now. Oh, I heard you come friends with with storm like, oh, I see. You're like hopping from one guy to another. Yeah, that's right. Absolutely. That's exactly what's happening. <laughs> okay, there we go. Right, everything is done. I'm thinking. I'm thinking we're going to do a little bit more baking tonight. Um, so let's see what we can bake. Can we bake anything? See, her baking skill is so low. You know what? I have a go make some oatmeal cookies out here. They're probably not going to sell for like a ridiculous amount, but they'll sell for a little bit. And I want to get her baking skill up so she can do like loads of baking stuff. Um, Corey, he's just chilling. Uh, now Leah's working on her thinking skill. Did she get it up? Oh, yes, she did. Okay. Now I'm gonna go have her use this instead because you guys said that using like blocks and items actually in game instead of just using that tablet has their skill get up a lot faster. So I'm keeping that in mind and making sure I do that, making sure I abuse the knowledge you guys have given me. What did we do? How did we do? Let me see. Oh, excellent quality. I'm so proud of you. Okay, right. Um, let's go grab some leftovers and then let's go outside and do a little bit more selling until it is bedtime. Hopefully we can get some money. So I want the cake on there. I want this cake, this cake. Eat quicker. Eat quicker, Thalia. 
These babies are gonna be coming. Oh, I was literally about to say these babies are gonna be coming any second. I spoke too soon. Right, so if I had them go, okay, if I had them go to the hospital, if you remember I got a in my game, where if I had my Sims go to the hospital, I have to pay a thousand pounds to have a baby. And I'm pretty sure it's per baby, or is it just to give birth? I can't remember. Either way, I know that it costs a thousand, and I don't want to char be charged any more money than I have to. So I'm not going to do that. She's in the middle of having baby. Ooh, excited. Here we go, guys. A baby, baby. What do we think? What do we think? Girl, boy, girl, boy. Baby boy first, baby boy. What should we call him? Let me go check name suggestions. Okay, so first up we have Chloe, who has suggested a few different names. We've, oh, we've also got another one coming from Gizmo. But I'm thinking, I really, really like Cl uh, Chloe's suggestion of Lucas. I think Lucas is a really, really nice name for our little baby boy. So I'm gonna go ahead and call him Lucas. So Lucas Edward, because I can't remember what his dad's last name is, but again, I'll, I'll add the name in. So one baby boy. Another baby boy, okay, okay. Another baby boy. Jocelyn just suggested um, another name as well called Kai. And I think Kai is a gorgeous name for a baby boy. So next baby is gonna be Kai. That's really nice. Okay, hopefully there's three. Please be three. Oh no, twins again. I've literally had so many sets of twins so far. <laughs> I was hoping that we were gonna get more, but it's okay. It is fine, I will take what I can get. Okay, both babies are gonna need a quick feed. So just come in here quickly and sort them out. Here we go, okay, this baby is good. This one we might not be able to reach though. Little baby Kai, I don't I don't know if she's gonna be able to reach. Oh no, she can, okay, she just sort of stands in the crib a little. I don't care. I don't care if, it, if it's a little funky, as long as it works. And uh, baby also needs nappy changed and I, no, he didn't need his nappy changed. Okay, there we go. <gasps> Parenting level 10, what a good way to end it off. And, oh God, and now she's, <laughs> now she's fallen asleep in the food. What a perfect way to end today's episode off with the amount of work that we just done. Honestly, our queen deserves it. She just had twins again for the fourth time and she deserves a break. So babe, you stick your head in there or you like. So I am gonna go ahead and call it a day on today's episode. And I really, really hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I was really excited to record today's episode. Honestly, I was losing my mojo a little bit with recording. I told you guys this a little while ago, but I was, I was losing my mojo a little bit with recording. But now I feel like since I've had like a bit of a break, not on purpose, but there was a break in between quite a lot of recordings. I feel like I've gained that spark back to be able to record. And I feel like I've got that really, excited vibe to record again and i hope you guys can see it and i hope you guys can see it in my quality of uploads as well so um i've got a new upload schedule if you guys haven't seen i will post it on the screen right just here so you can go ahead and see i um don't uh i stream on the same days that i upload um uh, but i'm gonna be uploading five days a week and i don't upload on tuesdays and saturdays because they're gonna be like my days off and tuesday's the day that i prepare all my videos for uh youtube as well then that way i can get them all out for you guys early and get them all scheduled so i hope you guys will enjoy that and i hope you guys will enjoy it more uh, a more structured schedule especially with an upload time as well because it will try and force me to make sure I get videos out on time for you guys and make sure that they're there um, so you know when to come and look my channel but I will go ahead and talk to you all in uh, tomorrow's episode which I really, really hope you guys enjoy we're back again tomorrow with the not so berry challenge so very exciting I will see you all in my very very next video and I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I will speak to you all in the next one if you want to go ahead and hit the subscribe button I'd really really appreciate it and also remember to go ahead and hit the like button and share it with your friends and ding the notification bell next to it and then you get notified every single time I upload which means you never miss an upload from me an upload of one of my series whatever it is so I will speak to you all in my very next video and I love you all bye guys and I thought, it's time I'm letting you go.